Now, application. What are the application of inverse proportionality? One of the major application that is you can say very very important for your uh, your quant preparation that is SDT, speed distance time. That is SDT chapter. The separate chapter will be there because lot of possibilities and lot of uh, lot of cases are there related to speed, time, and distance. But here basically, a speed and time are inversely proportional. A speed and time are inversely proportional if distance is constant. Length and width equal to area. If area is constant, length will become inversely proportional to width. Means if length you are increasing by 20%, then width will be, if length you are increasing by 20%, means 1 by x, like you can say 20% means 1 by 5, length you have increased. Then what will happen? It will decrease by 1 by 4. Width will decrease by 1 by 4. Then just suppose, if length you have increased by 20%, then width you have to decrease by 25% to keep the area same. Based on that, good questions are coming. Like this is your one of the rectangle. Okay. Now this is maybe another rectangle that is derived from this one. If both are having same area, then this is L1 and this is L2. This is B1 and this is B2. Then what will be the ratio between B1, B2 and L1, L2? Correct. Depends on the depends on the inverse proportionality. How much L1 will decrease or increase accordingly, width also will decrease and increase. We know already. Price and quantity equal to expenses. Means whatever your expenses will be there, you are going to market, you are purchasing something. In quantity, either may be measurable or not measurable. You are purchasing like uh, potato. Potato, you can't say four potato. It will be in kg. Maybe whatever quantity you are purchasing, what is your rate of that? Whatever rate of potato, total expenses will be equal to price into. Like you have taken three kg potato. Potato rate is 25, 3 into 25. This is most simple way I am telling. But here a question will be not like that. Question will be a little, uh, it is a story based and it will be a little complication. And that complicated format of a story we have to just represent in mathematical format and we have to solve it. Next is your efficiency into time. Like any person efficiency of time. You just suppose same work is doing 20 person in certain time period. Again, same same work will done by some other number of person, then how much time will take? This is also again your uh, time and work, separate chapter are there, almost all separate chapters are there. But finally, concept is A is inversely proportional to B. Means you can say if you understood A, B, A into B equal to constant, then you will be able to solve all these questions related to all these chapters.